Most people think of nature in New York City as an oxymoron, but I've lived here my entire life, and I can tell you it's not. It's one of the greenest cities in the world. For almost 40 years, we lived on a houseboat at the 79th Street Boat Basin in Manhattan on the Hudson River. And I, in the mid 80s, I used to walk our two dogs. And I always had a pocket full of seed for the pigeons and sparrows and starlings. Those were the only birds uh, whose names I knew. And one day, a beautiful little bird showed up with a red beak and a red crest. And she ate the seed and she followed me every single day for three years. And back then, I had to know what she was. I borrowed a field guide to birds from a friend and I identified her as a female cardinal. And then I wanted to know the name of every bird. She really got me into the world of birding. There is an abundance of species of birds in New York City because of where we sit geographically. And as they pass over New York City, they see all the green parks and the coastline. And they land and feed and raise their babies uh, and often spend just a few weeks before they migrate north, but some spend the whole summer. Field Guide to the Neighborhood Birds of New York City is different from any other field guide in the world because it's totally devoted to finding birds in New York City. Birding has really changed my life. And I want New Yorkers and people who visit New York to start to notice these gorgeous animals. And once you start to notice them, you want to learn everything about them. And it changes your life and opens you up to the beauty of the natural world all around you, even in New York City.